going to be checking out the USB Charger Doctor. You can get these for about $3 overseas on eBay or 4 or $5 if you order from someone who's already imported it. Basically what this little unit does, it allows you to view the voltage and amperage that a USB device uses, whether it's plugged into a computer or into a wall outlet. So I got one opened up real quick. Let's take a look at it and then we're going to test it out a little bit. So when you buy the unit, you get the unit itself, charger doctor, three and a half volts to seven volts input voltage, and it can measure zero to three amps, plus or minus one or two percent. So it's fairly accurate. You have your input power from USB that you plug into either a wall outlet or your computer, and your output where you plug your USB cable to go to whatever peripheral. And that's really it. It's a very, very small unit. Now we open it up, you can see the four seven segment display, your USB power in, USB power out. We flip it on over, there really isn't a lot of electronics that go to this. The main chip is nothing more than a PIC microcontroller that's been programmed. Probably a decoupling capacitor for the microchip. A transistor, a few resistors, and then this really big one, the R050, that is a 50 micro ohm current sensing resistor. That's how the microchip can calculate the amount of amperage that the unit's using. So let's plug it in and show you exactly what you can do with it. Okay, I got AC power coming on in, I got a Samsung USB power adapter, and I got one of the charger doctors plugged in. This power adapter is rated at 5 volts at 700 milliamps. And the first thing you'll see, it'll switch back and forth, I think it's every 3 or 4 seconds, showing you the amperage that's currently being drawn, which is nothing because we have nothing plugged in, and the current voltage, it'll switch in a second again and tell me what the voltage is putting out. 5.05 volts. So let's go ahead, take our USB cable, plug it on in, and then we'll take my phone. Plug that in. Turns on, shows me I'm pulling 0 0.74, 0 0.68 milliamps, and the voltage actually jumped up. The uh, power inverter in this is messing around a little bit. So it shows you basically how well this thing's charging. And of course, the red light on my phone says it's charging. So, battery on this is almost charged. I believe it's at. Uh, 93%, so it's not going to, the lithium ion battery is not going to throw full amperage into it, so it's knocking itself down a little bit, we're at 0.55 amps right now, it's jumping around, and the voltage is coming back down, let's try e-cigarette with an 18650 lithium ion battery, this also has a micro USB charging slot, so you plug this in correctly. You'll see it says charging on the screen. This one I believe only has a half amp max charging speed on it. So you can see now we're running at 5.2 volts. And I believe it says on 0.47 amps. And again, this one's almost charged right now too. It's at 92%, but it still gives the full half an amp. Unplug. You can see it come back down to 5.05 .05 volts and no amperage because nothing's plugged in. You can also use this unit for diagnostics, such as this is version 3.0 prototype of my solar sun jar. No one's seen it until now, so here's your first sneak peek at it. We're not going to get into that, though. I also want to see if the new chip I'm using for charging on this, not only does it work well with little solar panels, but can it accept 5-volt USB to charge it as well. So what I'm going to do is plug it in took out the solar panel and cut off the end of a USB cable got the positives and negatives I'm going to run it in here and see what it does this is the current voltage of the supercapacitors 157 millivolts and they're dead so let's plug it in and see what the charger doctor tells me so you can see the voltage is starting to go up on it charging circuit is working we are the voltage has collapsed though we're not at the 5 volt spec for USB and we're pulling 0.8 amps. So it is working, but
but at the same time, you can also see this is a non-standard USB device because it's pulling as much power as it can. We're not at 5 volts, we're at 3.4 at the moment, which is perfectly okay for a standalone unit for short-term use, probably enough to charge these supercapacitors. So what this tells me, since the voltage is going down, I can use a USB adapter to supplement the charging on this if I want to, but I got to make sure I tell anyone I give this to, or even for myself, do not plug this into a computer's USB port as you might blow it. The wall outlets are a lot more robust and they can handle it. So, perfect example of what I would use this unit for. So there you go. For three to five dollars, you get this nice little blue unit, which is great for diagnostics. I mean, you can use it for, hey, my cell phone isn't charging. Is it pulling power? Is the battery bad or is it not even taking power? You can do it just so you can see how much power, what type of charging chip does this have in here? Does it support uh, a half an amp charging or one amp charging? Because it always seems like it takes a while. Now I know that even though I connect it to a 700 milliamp unit, it only pulls 500, so that's the max that this can handle. The other reason you can use it for is, like I showed you earlier, I want to see if I can use the 5 volt power in a non-standard USB setup and see if it will charge supercapacitors. This is also good when you get other novelty uh, non-USB standard devices such as little USB plug-in fans or little cooling tables that you get for your drink that you plug in your computer. You want to make sure that those items don't pull too much power and end up blowing out one or multiple USB devices on your desktop or your laptop computer. So, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down in the comments and thumbs up.